Hi everybody, Lorraine here, and I'm so very happy to have you here for what is my first unboxing video for this channel. And I'm holding here in my hands the Passionistas Project Pack, and this is a subscription box that I subscribed to recently, and I just received my first box. This is um, the first that I'll actually be diving into it, is with you. But before we open it, let me tell you a little bit about the Passionistas Project. Um, so it's actually an organization of women for women, and their motto is empowering women through storytelling, education, and outreach. Um, and I guess they have a very popular podcast that where women can nominate other women or you can nominate yourself uh, and you can talk about what, you, what you're passionate about. And so they bring these people um, onto the podcast and they have a conversation to highlight them, to promote them. Um, and I just think that's such a wonderful idea. So I've just recently started listening um, to that podcast. And um, if this type of empowering women type of organization speaks to your heart, I encourage you to do the same. Um, but so they have the podcast, um, they have certain events, um, they have a, a yearly annual event um, that also is uh, for women's empowerment as well. Um, and on their website, you can see, I think there's an upcoming one, I believe it's coming up soon, September-ish maybe. And, um, and beyond that, they have this, which is, as I mentioned, their subscription box. And so what they do here, again, probably based on the people who get nominated, the people that they bring onto their podcast, some of these women um, run their own businesses, they're entrepreneurs, and so they choose um, somewhere between five and nine uh, full-priced items to put in these packs and promote and support these women entrepreneurs. So um, that's what we're gonna unpack today. And oh, a little bit more about uh, pricing. This box uh, is $59.99 a box. It comes out quarterly. Uh, so you would get four per year. And if you do uh, subscribe to the entire year, then you get a price break. I think it drops to like $54.99. So just, uh, so you know that information. So I'm just gonna open this and I'm gonna hold it up for you. It's really pretty on the inside. Beautiful uh, colors. The purple is so passionate, so I love that. And the orange goes really well with it. So I am unpopping this paper and we'll see what it says in here. And there's quite a few quite a few um, you know, things to read here. I won't read it all. But here's the, um, if you go on their website, you're going to see this placard. And a lot of the women are pictured there. So again, you, you either nominate yourself or someone else can nominate you. But you, you basically say that you know, you're passionate about what. You fill in the blank and then they take your picture. It's really cute. Um, so that's in there. And it says, get involved with the Passionistas community. So you can, um, you can order this project pack as a way to support the organization and the movement. You can share your thoughts on social media. You can, there's a Facebook group that's pretty active as well. And, or you can become a patron, a sponsor. Um, and then, of course, um, if you know any women that you would like to be supported um, who run their own business or are doing something really special, you can also nominate them. Okay, so that's all the ways you can get involved. Uh, so this says, this is their summer box, and it says summer solstice, dog days, picnic days, summertide, holidays, whatever you call it, it's here. It's that time of the year when the days are longer, the nights are warmer, and we feel a little less guilty about taking some downtime. Some of our favorite childhood memories are from our summer vacations or trips to the beach with our family. So whether or not you're traveling in the next few months, it's still time to take a break and create some new memories. And so the theme for this box is Passionistas Unwind. Okay, this totally fits into the self-care um, reason that I signed up for these subscription boxes in the first place. So this is perfect. Um, let your hair down, put on a pretty summer dress, and throw on some dangly earrings. Putter in the garden, planting flowers, enjoy some homemade pickles at the backyard barbecue, spend the day building sandcastles at the beach, and have an ice cream sundae dripping with caramel sauce when you get home. As always, our main goal with the Passanista 
project is to promote entrepreneurs and artisans who are following their passions to inspire you to follow your own. Yes, follow your heart, follow your passions. If you love the products featured in the box, follow each of their businesses on social media. Be sure to snap pictures of yourself using these Passionista products and tag your Passionista pals. Lastly, we'd love to know what your passion is. So please join our growing community of women supporting women in the Passionista Project Facebook group. Let us know what you think of the products in your box by posting your reviews and sharing your passions with us. Stay well and stay passionate. Amy and Nancy. Oh, I love that. Okay, and then you get you get some things to, to read about. Um, 20 ways to unwind the summer. So there's some suggestions and I, I will share. Um, I'll actually make a post of this in, in our group. Um, and then there's a portion here about uh, a certain organization called Two Live to Cure. And it's um, this is the giving back card. Uh, and it says, integrity is everything. Without it, you have nothing. From Vivia Collins, founder of the Kingston Two Candle. Oh, oh, I see what's happening. Okay, well, I'm going to, before I read all these, so what's the rest of these cards, I think I gave back. I, I think I gave a little bit of, of it away. The rest of these cards tie into the items. So let me, um, before I give too much away, let me get in here. All right, so here's the first item that I just pulled out of this box, and I want to show you. I want to show you how it's packed because it's packed really nice. Everything's individually wrapped, and there's lots of colorful paper that matches the box, so it's pretty pretty. All right, so here I am. I'm unwinding this or unwrapping this, and okay, I pulled the right thing because I kind of gave it away by starting to read that card. Here we go. Uh huh. Okay. This is about the time when I'm like, unwrap it faster. <laughs> okay. So here it is. It says, okay. Oh, no, I didn't pull the right thing. Okay. This is, it says CC made, cell gris, and it says cell gris caramel sauce. So it's a caramel sauce, yummy. Ooh, okay. So let me, and can you get a good picture of that? Yeah. Um, so let me see if, if there's something in here, because I'm sure there is. So what they do is they take each of the, um, here it is. Okay, so let me show you what they do. So here's the woman, um, and her name is, Cassandra Chen, okay? And she's the one who is the entrepreneur behind this caramel sauce, okay? So what they give me here is a little interview with her. It's a question and answer, and um, I'll give you a little bit about her story, and I'll just hold up the product here. It says, Cassandra Chen began CC Made with a simple idea, a flavorful and quality caramel. As a caramel lover, she was never satisfied with the flavor of mass manufactured caramels. Through trial and error, she learned that to develop the flavor she was craving, she only needed a few simple ingredients, sugar, water, an open flame, patience, and perfect timing. <laughs> this simple but time-consuming recipe is why mass manufactured caramels lack the depth of flavor that Cassandra was craving. And then they just ask a bunch of questions here about like what she's passionate about and what it inspired her to start this company, um, which they just told you about that she wasn't finding good caramels. And um, anyway, so then you, you feel by reading this, you get a sense that, you know, you're getting to know her a little bit. So, all right, so that's the first item. And then here's the second item. I'm gonna open this up. Ooh. The, oh, this says bonus gift. Okay, it's a charm bracelet. Really cute, can you see that? It says, oh, and it says Passionistas on it. Oh, let me take it out of here, hold on. Hold on, hold your horses, one second. This is so cute. So, I gotta figure out, oh, there, okay. So it's just this little bracelet and on there, I'm gonna show you, it says, Passionistas. I don't know if you can read that. It says Passionistas. 
So it says, as kids, our charm bracelets reflected who we were and what we were passionate about. And so your first Passionistas project pack includes a charm bracelet with a Passionista engraved charm. Each subsequent pack will include a removable charm relevant to that box's theme so you can mix it up and match these inspiring reminders on your, of your journey to follow your dreams. Oh, I love that. I love it. Okay, so that's super cute, right? And I'll, I'll hold this like this so you can see it. Super cute. All right, so that's the thing. And then here's another little one. This one's wrapped in blue. I love opening presents. Um, and it, this one's in this cute little bag, purple bag. See that? And what does it say? Sand bucket and shovel charm. When you can't make it to the beach, relive the memories of past days at this at the sea with this antique silver tone 3D sand bucket and shovel charm. Oh my God, that's so cute. Okay, well, uh, nope, plastic's not gonna do. I gotta take it out so you can see it and hold it up. Hold on, this is going right on the charm bracelet. Oh, that's so cute. All right, this is gonna be hard to see, but it's this just cute little bucket and shovel charm that's gonna go straight onto the straight on to the um, bracelet. So, very cute. Now let me see. Oh yeah, okay. Sand Bucket and Shovel Charm by Loretta's Beads. Okay, so here's Loretta's Beads card, right? And I will read you just a little bit. When you, well, I read that part. Loretta Mazzo is her name, started Loretta's Beads on a folding table in her home. <laughs> um, I used to do some jewelry uh, crafting too. I, I like working with my hands. Her hope was to make a little money so she could be a stay-at-home mom. She was clearing, cleaning house at, the t at that time. Her company has done very well and she's blessed to have some great ladies who help her out. And she's most, you know, what, they ask her what she's passionate about and she says, I'm most passionate about family. Why did she decide to start a business selling charms? I became a legal guardian of my granddaughter when she was two years old, and I wanted to create a business so I could be a stay-at-home mom for her. Aww. Anyway, there's more information about, here, about her here, and um, that's so cute. Okay, all right. So those are two items, and then we got some filler here. Okay, I'm going with the small ones first, okay? So now we got an orange one. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Hey, and I'm going on a trip tomorrow, so I might be taking some of these with me. Okay, very cute. Very cute and very summery, right? Those are cute. All right, let's find out who did these. Uh, I have to, you have to give me a, oh, here they are. Okay, all right, here she is. This is, this is the gal that we're going to be reading about right now. And um, the, these are called, and I'll hold them up while I'm reading them, okay? Uh, Bohemian Triangle Winding Earrings by Blushing Owl Company. Spruce up for a summer date night with these custom designed and handcrafted lightweight statement earrings by Blushing Owl Company. Uh, and the entrepreneur, the owner is Amber Witt Rat Ratliff is an accounting professional, entrepreneur, mother, and wife. Life is busy, but she wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, so let me just read. I think you got a good glimpse of those. Um, and then the first question on all of these is, what are you most passionate about? And Amber says, there are so many things I'm passionate about. After sitting and thinking on this question, I think I am most passionate about being a good role mo model for my children and other women. I have overcome many obstacles in my life to get where I am, and I never let any of those obstacles become an excuse. Some of the mountains were tall, but I climbed them. When I hear someone say they can't do something, my immediate response is, yes, you can. I have faith in you. Anything is possible if you put your mind and time to it, and I love to encourage others. Oh my God, I'm in love with this box. This is like speaking to my soul. Um, that's amazing. And then the next question is, what inspired you to start Blushing Owl Company? 
And she says, I have always wanted my own business, something I could build for my children. I found myself working a full-time job plus part-time side jobs that kept me away from home all the time. Yeah, that's definitely a challenge that working moms have, right? I had to find something I could do from home and still generate that income needed. Determined to be at home with my family more, I came up with a plan that blossomed into the Blushing Owl Company. Oh, yay! Good for her. All right, I am so into this. And then there's more questions, but I, I won't read them all. Um, I will, though, however, um, put the links to all the companies of these ladies down in the comments below so that if you're interested, you can go um, check out their websites, give them a follow on social media, etc., etc. I will also include the link um, to the Passionistas Project and the Facebook group as well, okay? So keep an eye out for that. All right, I'm still going with the little ones because there are a couple bigger ones in here, but I'm going with the little ones first. Saving the best for last, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if it's even a strategy. Oh, okay, cool. Look at this. These are seed bombs. Seed bombs. Can you see them? I hope you can see them. Okay. Seed bombs. So let me find the the thing for that, the card. Mm. That's not it. That's not it. Okay, I think it's on, it must be on the back of this. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay, here's the card. Here she is. This is our entrepreneur that we're now supporting. And her name is Maddie Perkins is the owner of Sunshine and Bloom. That's the name of the company, and I will hold these up once again so you can see them. Um, Maddie Perkins is the owner of Sunshine and Bloom, a one-stop shop, let me see if I can get closer, a one-stop shop for all things gifts. She aims to inspire one person, one gift, one smile at a time. Through thick and thin, she aims to create a community that is always there for you every day, for your everyday and occasional needs. Please join her in bringing smiles to all the faces of those around us. And so the first question is, of course, what are you most passionate about, Maddie? And she says, I am most passionate about bringing smiles to the lives of others through creating memories and a space where they can feel the most at home. Why is Sunshine so important to you? Because the name of the company is Sunshine and Bloom, right? She says, sunshine reminds me of warmth and joy and all the things that make us happy in the world. How do you shift to a positive attitude when you're having a difficult time? Now, these are great questions, I have to say. Um, this may sound really silly, but I think about plants and all of the struggles that, and time they take to grow. When I'm having a difficult time, I remember how important things like the sun are, and I take a few moments to breathe, enjoy some time outside, and usually that's a solid reset for me. Oh, that's great. Okay, so these say to plant, choose a location with good soil and lots of sunshine. It's recommended to plant in the spring about a month after the final frost. Break up the seed bombs and sprinkle, and wait, I gotta raise this thing, and, ra and spread them over your desired location. Cover seeds with soil and water. And that's so cute. I don't know if you could tell. This one's in the, in the shape of of a butterfly, you see that? And this one is in the shape of a bee. Is my bee upside down? Yeah, the shape of a bee. They're cute. All right, I'm definitely gonna use this. All right, a couple more things to go, guys. Here's the next one. Oh, and this one's making noises. Can you hear? Okay, let's open it up, see what's in there. Can you tell that I like to open presents? Yeah, I do. Okay, here it is. It's, does it say on the front? Yeah, SNS Dips, and this is an icebox dill pickle mix. Oh, cool, in a, in, the instructions are, in a, quart of, in a quart jar, mix one cup of water and one cup of white vinegar and stir in the bag contents. Add sliced pickle cukes or cucumbers and fill to the top of the jar. Put lid on tight and shake to mix. Le leave in the refrigerator for 24 to 48 hours. 
before opening. Oh my God. Great on hot dogs, brats, or hamburgers. This is making me hungry. That is so cool. Okay. And here is a card. Here's a card and the picture of our lovely entrepreneur. And uh, her name is Stacy Lamberts. And again, it's the Icebox Dill Pickle Mix by SNS Dips. Stacy Lamberts is the co-founder of SNS Dips with her husband Steve. They make artisan created gourmet dip mixes and flavored creamed honey. Stacy says the products are made from our kitchen to yours. Enjoy life's simple pleasures. Eat well with a smiley face. And then they asked Stacy, passionistas asked Stacy, what are you most passionate about? And she says, good food and family. How did you grow your business from making six dip mixes in your kitchen to over 30 dip, different mixes and honey? And her answer is, we started out with some family favorite recipes to begin our journey. Over time, we listened to our customers' needs and wants and slowly developed our recipes from the traditional to the fun and flavorful variety we offer today. The honey we started making was just for family. We tested a few, at it at a few shows and everyone seemed to enjoy the basic flavors we offered. Over time, we have created up to 18 flavors of honey, oh my gosh, and are still getting requests for more. So who knows what flavor might come next. All right, and then, um, and then they ask her, what's your favorite summertime food? This is tough. I love anything grilled. Steak or chicken with zucchini would be my favorites. Um, I will marinate them in some of our savory herb bread dip and extra virgin olive oil for a good five to 10 hours before cooking. Wow, that's dedication. <laughs> um, for hot days, I love making the fruit fluff by using the pineapple or pina colada dip mix. Add it with a can of mandarin oranges, chunk pineapple, fresh fruits, and marshmallows. Let it sit for a good four hours, stir it up. Excellent as a snack or side dish with your meal. Mm. That reminds me of a kind of a, a fruit salad that my mother used to make. That sounds good actually, it's bringing back memories. All right, so that's the ice box dill pickle mix by SNS Dips. Very cool, all right. Next, moving on. Ooh, this one's a big one. There we go, so we're gonna open this. Ah, uh, here we go. This is the one that I kind of let the cat out of the bag for, remember, at the very beginning. I'm gonna bring my, I'm getting a lot of garbage over here, so. All right, so this says Kingston 11 Candle Company, and it says Rosie. So I'll just show you here. Okay, so it's a, it's a nice big size. It's an eight ounce candle. So let me find, here it is, okay. Oh, this is a big one. Okay, and here's the card. Can you see it? There's the card. Okay, and our um, Vivia Collins is our entrepreneur. She started Kingston Two Candles, an eco conscious candle company in 2021. She creates candles, melts, soaks, balms, diffusers, and room sprays all maintaining an eco-friendly approach. After surviving life-threatening cancer three times and about a bout of suicidal depression, she suffered, suffered a severe stroke in 2022. Wow, she's gone through a lot, huh? Um, she was expected to be in a vegetative state, but today she is thriving. She has moments of fatigue, weakness, numbness, and depressive thoughts, but she continues to fight for the mentally ill by advocating for them in her community. Amazing, wow. Let me show you again. Her name is Vivia Collins. I just want to make sure you get it. There she is. I'll, I'll put this up because it'll focus better. Okay. They asked Vivia, what are you most passionate about? She says, I'm most passionate about the health and well-being of myself, my hubby, and others. Where did you grow up and what was your childhood like? I grew up in the beautiful island of Jamaica in Kingston. My childhood was filled with bike riding, playing with my friends, playing soccer in an open field, reading every book I could get my hands on, and I, on going to the library, and playing my favorite game, which was to low crawl. This became one of my favorite and most essential skills, learning how to dodge bullets. Oh my goodness. Wow, okay, and then they go on to talk Oh, what was the inspiration behind King Kingston 11 Candle? 
The inspiration behind Kingston 11 Candle is twofold. First, my husband's health in addition to my own. Second, to help others like us who are struggling with similar issues and had nowhere else to turn. Wow, amazing. Okay, let me open up. There's, there's a lot more information on her, but... Oh, that smells wonderful. Let me see if it says anything about it. Oh, I do want to read this. Um, they ask her, do you have a mantra that you live by? And her answer is, integrity is everything. Without it, you are nothing. What's your dream for women? Women from all backgrounds, races, and creeds, sexual orientation should be welcomed with open arms and treated equally. We are all women. And the candle smells delicious, so I can't wait to use it. All right, we're almost done. Just a couple more things. Uh, oh, oh, so I, re I received, this is a note uh, regarding the candle. I received the rosy can candle. It's a delicate yet flowery scent, a modern floral experience with a hint of romanticism, luxury, and culture combined. And it is, it's like, it smells of roses, which is lovely. And not a scent that I have too much of. I usually go for vanilla types. So I'll, I'll be um, excited to, to use that. Okay, I think there are only, there's only two other things in here. I'm sorry, this, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, this is the next one. Let's see what we have. And then it won't see look at all this stuff. I'm just gonna clean up while I go. I know the moms can relate to that. <laughs> oh, so it's super cute little bag. Oh, this says Kingston 11 Candle Company too. Can you see that? I, I'm already thinking about what I can do. Oh, so cute. Okay, so this comes with, so I think the original candle was supposed to be in here. Um, so I got this candle instead, and then I got this little jar with the matches in it. So cute. So anyway, okay, so those go together. Now, there's an envelope in here. And this says, unwind with a guided meditation by Maria Dominique Lopez. Need a quick de-stress? Check out this relaxing guided meditation. Uh, and it says Maria D Dominique Lopez was in a trance state while meditating and felt strong tingling in her palms in the fall in the fall of 2019. She had no idea what the tingling in her hands meant or why every time she touched someone in pain, their pain went away. After months of research, she decided to take her Reiki course, her first Reiki course, and learned that what she was experiencing was Reiki. Now it is her mission to help a new generation come to consciousness and ascend to their own universal calling. Have you ever had a Reiki session? Um, it is very grounding and um, calming and you feel so good afterwards. Um, and I had a similar experience to her at the very beginning of COVID. I was really sick and I might actually have had COVID, but it felt like a really bad sinus infection and cold flu. And um, anyway, I started thinking about um, meditation which and healing and all these things. And I started exploring Reiki too. So I am now a Reiki master. Um, but she sounds like she had a very special experience that led her onto the path. Um, but I do love Reiki. And if you haven't tried it, you should definitely try it. So that's a meditation, a guided meditation that's included. And it gives the, um, it, it's on YouTube. I guess it's a private get my meditation. Okay, and then this one is another envelope and it says, join us on August 25th. Oops. Oh no, that's coming up. Um, for the Cabbie Fall Fashion Preview. Okay. And it says, uh, take the stress out of your, at the end of your summer shopping when you join Deborah Snyder for the Cabbie Fall Fashion Preview on August 25th, 2022. And Deborah Snyder is going to give the Passionistas a sneak peek at the Cabbie Fall line and talk more to us about the philosophy of the company, which includes the Cabbie Foundation. That's cool. Okay. So that's like a special little online 
fashion preview. And uh, uh, so here's her card. And you know what? I skipped the other one. Well, I'll see if I can find it. Um, so Deborah Schneider is a cabbie uh, person, and she, she's an independent stylist for cabbie, which is a fashion collection made by women for women. And she's also the VP of membership and community outreach at an organization called NAWBO. For cabbie, Deb helps you build a wardrobe that pairs back from season to season. No more looking in your closet with too many clothes and nothing to wear. You have a wardrobe that is fashionable, functioning, and flattering. And at that organization, NAWBO, I don't know if you say NABO or just the initials, she works to strengthen membership and, and uh, membership ROI by providing proactive support to chapter leaders and developing and growing membership, sustaining membership, retention, and increasing members' return on investment. They ask her, like they ask everybody, what are you most passionate about? I am passionate about empowering women, both from the inside, the work that she does for NABO. Oh, it's the National Association of Women Business Owners. Uh, there we go. And outside, the work I do as a stylist for Cabby. Uh, both are communities of women helping women and helping, be our, helping women be our best selves. Love it. Okay. All right, in the essence of time, I will not be doing the rest. And there is one more, guys. All right, here it is. This is the biggest one. It's flat, but it's so big. Ooh, oh, this is cute. <laughs> Look, it's, it's, it's a hat. Pretty sure it's a hat. I'm going to open it up right now and see. It's a bucket hat. Okay, tell me how I look. It's perfect. I'm going on, on a vacation tomorrow, so I will be... And I, I'm sorry, I keep looking at myself in the little display thing. I like it. It's cute. You like it? Anyway, all right, let's see. I will read it with this on. Where's the hat one? Oh, boy. There's a lot here. As you can tell, there's a lot of cards. Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. Okay. It's just a bucket hat. I don't know who it's from because I can't find the card. No, I cannot find the card. Anyway. All right, my friends. I hope you enjoyed my first uh, video. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below whether you liked it and whether you'd like to see more. Um, and just P.S. I have two more to do. So, um, but give me comments and I will put, like I said, these links below so that you can um, access if you want to investigate any of these and support any of these women entrepreneurs that you can do that. Um, anyway, I hope you have a great week. Enjoy the rest of your summer and I will see you soon for another video. Bye.